afternoon, uh, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome. This is uh, Faye Lawand, uh, New Zealand's trusted internal conflict resolution expert. Um, very happy be coming to you for another edition of what to keep in mind to keep your mind during uh, lockdown. Um, today I want to talk to you about whatever might be going on inside your mind that's driving you nuts. I want to let you know that this is not you, it is your brain. And um, this is not coming from me, this is coming from one of my mentors, Clive Gurdam who tells us and teaches us that it's not you, it is your brain. What is the it that I'm referring to? It's whatever fear, worry, anxiety, unrest, uh, uh, anxiety that you're currently going through right now, distress, you name it, the flurry of emotions, of negative emotions um, that are keeping us all stuck in internal conflict right now. This is very normal, which we already talked about, but it's also your brain. It's not you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. So your brain is by design negative, right? By design, your brain is wired to notice what's wrong in the environment, what's not good, and what's not working. So it's not you that is negative. It's just the design of your brain that is operating this way. And because the mind and the body are so connected, when the mind is in a negative space, you end up feeling really yucky on the inside. So now that we've established that, now that we've established that it's not you, it's your brain, and we've already established that it's 100% normal to feel all the things that you're currently feeling, what do you do about it? So I want to share with you two, two, <laughs> two really powerful brain hacks to get you out of negativity mode and into a place where there's less internal conflict so you can feel less of the yucky feelings and more of the feelings that you want to feel that are a little bit more pleasant. So these two techniques, these two brain hacks are appreciation and rehearsal. So let's talk about appreciation first. When we are what do I mean by appreciation? Appreciation is actually deliberately taking time out constantly and consistently to notice and appreciate the things that are working, the things that are positive, the things that are, uh, that are good, the things that are not negative, the things that uh, are uplifting. In other words, the upside. Well, not in other words, or potentially the other, the upside. That's why I've been coming to you live daily with the upside in order to encourage you to focus on uh, what is positive and what is working because the more you train your brain to look for what's good, what's positive, what's working, the 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 less likely the brain is to stick it to stick to to remain stuck in that negativity bias that is its default design and here's the other thing to keep in mind about appreciation when you are in appreciation mode when you are feeling grateful and content and satisfied with whatever it is as small or as big as it is that your awareness is resting upon, your brain cannot do the negative behavior. Your brain cannot go to negative mode or negative functioning as your brain is focused on what's positive. And this is why the practices of gratitude and the practices of uh, appreciation are such essential pillars in uh, boosting resilience and boosting uh, happiness and boosting well-being uh, and boosting mental fitness. So that's appreciation. The next brain hack that I want to talk to you about that is really powerful to uh, switch you out of that negativity bias is rehearsal. So what do I mean by rehearsal? It, rehearsal is basically uh, uh, practicing in your mind how you want to be or how you want to feel instead. So because your mind does not know what is real and what is imagined, it does not know that, it does not understand the difference between real and imagined, your brain does not know that. As you bring to mind positive pictures, positive scenes, positive uh, scenarios of you doing, being, or feeling the way you want to feel, 
the brain starts believing it to be true. And when it believes it to be true, it starts trickling down into your life and into your daily circumstances. Now, does that happen right away? No. Does it happen? Yes, because it's very much like a seed. And I will talk to you more about the, 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 the metaphorical concept of seeding and the fertility and the soul of the mind in our next edition of, um, of what to keep in mind in order to keep your mind. But for now, I just wanted to leave you with this. Whatever you're feeling right now, the negativity, please know it is not you. It is your brain. Please know that there is something that you can do about it. You don't need to have that. You don't need to let the negativity bias hijack your life and hijack the way that you feel. Uh, and the two things that you can do about it are uh, practicing appreciation, gratitude, uh, contentment, whatever you want to call it. And the other is rehearsing what you want, focusing your mind on how you want to be, how you want to feel, what you want to do instead. I hope this has been of some use and of some benefit to you. I'd love to hear uh, how you go with these uh, techniques. I'd love to uh, hear uh, what you think about the brain hacks and uh, how maybe what other ways um, you are, what other techniques you're using uh, to keep your mind uh, during this uh, period of um, of massive stress and unrest for so many, for all of us. All right, you guys, I will catch up with you again really soon. If you have any suggestions for anything to talk about um, that you'd like to learn, blah, 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 that you'd like to learn more about in the series, please let me know. I'm always up for suggestions. And I'll catch up with you again uh, really soon. Bye for now. Bye from Auckland. Fay on New Zealand's trusted internal conflict resolution expert. Bye.